This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Litany to Satan from Baudelaire. Translated by James Elroy Flecker. Read by Stephen Collins. O greatest of the angels, and most wise, O fallen God, fate driven from the skies, Satan, at last take pity on our pain. O first of exiles who endurest wrong, yet growest in thy hatred still more strong, Satan, at last take pity on our pain. O subterranean king, omniscient, healer of man's immortal discontent, Satan, at last take pity on our pain. To lepers and to outcasts thou dost show that passion is the paradise below. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thou, by thy mistress death, hast given to man hope, the imperishable courtesan. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thou givest to the guilty their calm mien, which damns the crowd around the guillotine. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thou knowest the corners of the jealous earth, where God has hidden jewels of great worth. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thou dost discover by mysterious signs where sleep the buried people of the mines. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thou stretchest forth a saving hand to keep such men as roam upon the roofs and sleep. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thy power can make the halting drunkard's feet avoid the peril of the surging street. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thou, to console our helplessness, didst plot the cunning use of powder and of shot. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Thy awful name is written as with pitch on the unrelenting foreheads of the rich. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. In strange and hidden places thou dost move where women cry for torture in their love. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Father of those whom God's temptuous ire has flung from paradise with sword and fire. Satan, at last take pity on our pain. Prayer Satan, to thee be praise upon the height where thou wast king of old and in the night of hell where thou dost dream on silently. Grant that one day beneath the knowledge tree, when it shoots forth to grace thy royal brow, my soul may sit that cries upon thee now. End of poem.